Today we're holding an oversight hearing to examine the Inspector General's recent report on the FBI's handling of allegations against Larry Nasser, the predator who abused hundreds of young women before he was charged and convicted in 2017. Let me start by saying that, as I'm sure you can appreciate, uh, since we're talking about an ongoing investigation, I'm somewhat limited in, in what I can say here, but... How much is a little girl worth? I sit before you today to raise my voice so that no little girl must endure what I, the athletes at this table, and the countless others who needlessly suffered under Nasser's guise of medical treatment, which we continue to endure today. We suffered and continue to suffer because no one at FBI, USAG, or the USOPC did what was necessary to protect us. I want to sincerely thank each of you for joining the survivors of this abuse to do what we all can to prevent anything like this from ever happening again. Thank you. Well, again, I, I want to be careful uh, here and not talking about a specific ongoing investigation uh, other than to say that... As most of you are probably aware, I was molested by the U.S. Gymnastics National Team and Olympic team doctor Larry Nassar. And in actuality, he turned out to be more of a pedophile than he was a doctor. What I'm trying to bring to your attention today is something incredibly disturbing and illegal. After telling my entire story of abuse to the FBI in the summer of 2015, not only did the FBI not report my abuse, but when they eventually documented my report 17 months later, they made entirely false claims about what I said. After reading the Office of Inspector General's OIG report, I was shocked and deeply disappointed at this narrative they chose to fabricate. They chose to lie about what I said and protect a serial child molester rather than protect not only me, but countless others. By not taking immediate action from my report, they allowed a child molester to go free for more than a year. And this inaction directly allowed Nassar's abuse to continue. What is the point? of reporting abuse if our own FBI agents are going to take it upon themselves to bury that report in a drawer. They had legal, legitimate evidence of child abuse and did nothing. If they're not going to protect me, I want to know who are they trying to protect? What's even more upsetting to me is that we, now, we know that these FBI agents have committed an obvious crime. They falsified my statement and that is illegal in itself. Yet no recourse has been taken against them. The Department of Justice refused to prosecute these individuals. Why? The FBI, USOC, and USAG sat idly by as dozens of girls and women continued to be molested by Larry Nassar. I ask you, please do all that is in your power to ensure that these individuals are held responsible and accountable for ignoring my initial report for lying about my initial report, and for covering up for a child molester. I certainly understand why the keen interest in the topic, and I'm trying to be as responsive as I can be uh, while trying to be sensitive to an ongoing investigation. So I'm, I'm doing my best to, uh, to try to be responsive and informative while also being careful not to, as Department of Justice policy prohibits me from discussing an ongoing specific investigation. I am haunted by the fact that even after I reported my abuse, so many women and girls had to suffer at the hands of Larry Nassar. USA Gymnastics and the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee and the FBI have all be betrayed me and those who were abused by Larry Nassar after I reported. Afterwards, FBI agents in charge of the investigation lied to OIG investigators about what had happened. This conduct by these FBI agents, including the special agent in charge, who are held in high regard and expected to protect the public, is unacceptable, unac unacceptable, disgusting, and shameful. Despite these findings of serious and criminal misconduct throughout the FBI, USAG, and USOPC, no accountability has occurred. An important question remains, perhaps the most important question, why? Why would the FBI agents lie to OIG investigators? Why would the FBI not properly document ev evidence that was received? Why would the FBI agent be interested in the USAG presidency? These questions remain unanswered. 
and the survivors of Larry Nassar have a right to know why their well-being was placed in the jeopardy by these individuals who chose not to do their jobs. To date, no one from the FBI, the US OPC, or USAG has faced federal charges other than Larry Nassar. For many hundreds of survivors of Larry Nassar, this hearing is one of our last opportunities to get justice. We ask that you do what is in your power to ensure those that engaged in wrongdoing are held accountable under the law. Happy to work with the committee to see what more information we can provide to be helpful and responsive. Uh, and I certainly agree that some of that might be better done in a classified setting. Uh, and so I'll have my staff follow up with yours to see what we can do to be uh, more illuminating, recognizing again that some of this has to do with a very sensitive, ongoing, very much ongoing investigation. Given our abuser's unfettered access to children, stopping him should have been a priority. Instead, the following occurred. The FBI failed to interview pertinent parties in a timely manner. It took over 14 months for the FBI to contact me, despite my many requests to be interviewed by them. I felt pressured by the FBI to consent to Nasser's plea deal. The agent diminished the significance of my abuse and made me feel my criminal case wasn't worth pursuing. Special agent in charge of investigating Nasser met Steve Penny for beers to discuss job opportunities in the Olympic movement. I've watched multiple high-ranking officials at USAG, USOPC, and FBI resign or retire without explanation of how they may have contributed to the problem, some of whom were publicly thanked for their service and rewarded with severance or bonus money. My reports of abuse were not only buried by USAG, USOPC, but they were also mishandled by federal law enforcement officers who failed to follow their most basic duties. The FBI and others within both USAG and USOPC knew that Nasser molested children and did nothing to restrict his access. The FBI made me feel like my abuse didn't count and it wasn't a big deal. Senator, I certainly understand why you're asking the question, but Good. given that, but if I could just finish, given that this is a, an ongoing criminal case being brought by the special counsel with whom we are actively cooperating, okay. I want to make sure that's, I don't. That's fine. Uh, I want to be a little bit careful of what I can say. In oh, I can imagine you want to be careful. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. I want to be a little bit careful about what I can say in this kind of setting. Uh,